If you guys have been around me for a while, you know that I've shared a little bit in the past about the fact that I have a little bit of social anxiety in that I I choose to be extroverted because I know that that's how I'm going to help the most people. However, I'm actually an introvert at heart and I realized as I was walking through this and really it was kind of another aha moment that just recently I started also using kind of more of a pain motivator to help get me to that next level of reach because I truly believe with everything I am that it is it, that I've been given a God-given gift to help other people, especially women. I love our, we have tons of male clients in our local Fit Body Bootcamp locations as well. Just my heart goes out to that woman that I was 16 years ago when I was uncomfortable in my own skin, when I was broken, when I was overwhelmed, when I was sick and tired all the time and struggling with food. My heart goes out to that woman. And so that's who I think about. So then the what I realize now has held me back a little bit in the past for probably achieving the growth that I could could have but there's no would have could have should have it just means like if you think I was on fire passionate about helping other people before you just wait because now that I've discovered this new level of uh, block that I'm blowing up getting rid of right it just means that that even more to come right but by so recently even before I got to this conference and Tony Robbins so Tony Robbins just kind of affirmed that this is um, this is a valid driving motivating factor I started holding on to the thought of that woman the fact that I have this gift and this ability to help people lose weight feel amazing it's so much more than just the weight on the scale it really is an ability for to empower women especially women but men too to really believe that they are worth it believe that it is possible then actually give them the tools and the techniques to make it a reality and it becomes a life transformation the only reason I can say that with humble confidence is because I worked for that gift it was not given it was earned it was through faith, through perseverance, it was overcoming all of my personal challenges and obstacles. And along that way, I learned how to, through self-development, and all, that's more than what I can go into here, tons of you know certifications and resources as well, but that experiential knowledge is what allows me to have the compassion and a very unique understanding to be able to reach the women or that woman that I was 16 years ago. And because I believe so strongly that it is a gift, that I also believe that it is my duty to fulfill that greater purpose, that that is my contribution, that is the impact, that is the legacy that I was created to leave, right? And so in order for me to push through that bit of anxiety that is still left, that feels like, what if I'm rejected? Don't be that vulnerable, don't be that real, don't share that because, of, Every time I start to think about that, I think about that woman that I was 15, 16 years ago. And I talk back to that stinking thinking. I use the pain of where I was to drive and push me forward. This is allowing me to break through that feel, that last bit of anxiety or that last bit of insecurity so that I can fulfill my full purpose. Because I think about every single time I allow the stinking thinking get in my head or hesitate from doing a Facebook Live, or hesitate from reaching out, that is another day or another moment that I am letting one of those women down because that's what I needed when I was there 16 years ago. I needed someone to be real. I needed one, someone to say, hey, this struggle is real. Dealing with an eating disorder is real. Feeling uncomfortable in your own skin is real. Feeling like you're hiding behind your kid is real and it doesn't have to be that way. You can, you, it is possible for you to live better. It is possible for you to feel better. So when I get in that mode and I think about that and I think about the fact that that is my duty and that responsibility to help that person and every time I hesitate is a pot, potential risk of letting that woman go to bed another night feeling as crummy, as beaten up, as destroyed as she was that same day. Whereas if I step out, every moment that I step out, every moment that I'm real, vulnerable, and uncomfortable, that's a moment and an opportunity to help that woman. 
and make her feel better empowered today versus waiting another day another six months or however long it takes for me to get comfortable who am I to wait until I'm comfortable right and so that pain has become my motivating factor that it's allowing me to reach out even more than ever before for our local fit body boot camp locations it's allowing me to reach out even more by um, developing this online program taking what I know works I'm it's not a it's not a question it's a proven blueprint of what works right and being able to empower women through this online program so that I can have a greater reach and a greater impact so that if it's a woman that I'm meant to it's not going to be for everybody but for that person that I'm meant to reach maybe they're not just local maybe they're on the other side of the country maybe they're in another continent and that gives me the ability to reach them and access them but I have to be able to step out of my vulnerability, step out of my comfort zone in order to make that happen. It's the same pain based in realizing that not only do I empower women for health and fitness, but being able to have financial freedom and flexibility and allowing me to grow that health and wellness business from that standpoint. So there is so much that can be done when you see, because I see the vision, I know for sure where I'm going and the amount of people that I'm going to impact, right? And it's not prideful. It's absolutely because I look at that and I go, yeah, I didn't create that. I didn't think that up. There's no way that me thinking I'm going to do that came from me which means that it came from whatever you want to believe. I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, so I believe it's from Him. But whether you believe it, it's source or higher power or whatever, when you have a vision for yourself that you feel like, gosh, that's really big, that's because it's coming from something way bigger than you. And we have a duty and a responsibility, whether it's losing 30 pounds or breaking free financially, we have a responsibility to make that happen, right? And so being able to push through on a daily basis, even though I see my vision really clear and I work really hard on focusing on that on a daily basis because when you focus on it, you gravitate it towards it, right? But when that moment of stinking thinking comes in my head because I get scared about being vulnerable on Facebook Live or what do I or that single thing that says what do you have at you know are you really gonna be adding value to someone's life it only matters if I help one person that's all that matters to me is if this video helps one person and that's what I have to remind myself of and so vision impactful powerful pleasure type result that's super powerful in my life but this idea of the pain motivating you fat, uh, forward, whether that's your main driving, driving force and that's going to get you out of being on stock, maybe it's the pain of where you're at right now and really focusing in on that. Maybe, you have been, maybe you've spent a lot of time, this is on my heart, so maybe this applies to someone, maybe you've spent a lot of time numbing out and not dealing with the pain of what's really going on. Right, And I say that with the utmost love and appreciation because I was in that same place long ago. I was numbing out with food or maybe it's TV or whatever it is for you. Maybe you need to dig deep and deal with that pain so that you can get upset, so you can get pissed off, whatever it takes for you to make changes you because I know that that's been an aha moment for me and I'm super excited about everything that I'm um, able to do and using that little I, what I wanted to I think I lost that I got off on a tangent but I think what I was meant to say and I wanted to make it sure clear so it's still pleasure driven I still believe and understand the concept of creating a vision spending time making a habitual routine of being able to see yourself there and understanding that that is meant for you if you have it on your heart. Hope is given within us by a source greater than us. So if you have it, it's your calling. It's your duty to step up and make it happen. But on the daily, when something comes in, that stinking thing gets in your head, maybe the talk back is not just positive affirmation. Maybe the talk back is a little bit of tough love and said, what is the worst case scenario? Is the pain of where you're at or is the pain of letting that person down, like in my story, greater than your simple insecurity in this moment, right? So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was helpful, please like, comment, and share. The online project that I did talk about is coming up. It is open for registration this week. You can find details at the Inspired Strength.
www.thelifeproject.com. I will click the link when I, uh, when I say this video. Uh, and if you have any questions, be sure to just send me a message about anything that I've talked about today, if I can support and empower you in some way. Um, that truly is my goal and my mission. So reach out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.